Yo, 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 Hotep, Hotep, my name is Lloyd Ukili Osa. I want to welcome you back to 13 Cosmic Law Astrology and the University of Cosmic Mysteries and Light. And today, um, it's going to be a very quick video. I'm just going to show you basically some new things that I'm going to be doing now. Um, I've been making a lot of tea. Well, I'm going to start making a lot of tea, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tea. Um, lately, I've been drinking tea because um, I just really feel like it's very important for me to get, you know, those plant properties inside of me to break up all of that going on, you know what I'm saying? So, um, so, um, yeah, I just want to show you what's going on. I got the, uh, I got the, uh, the high burner, the one eye skillet high burner on the desk of this hotel room. It's really no excuse, man. I don't care where you are. You, you, you can, you can make things happen wherever you are. You can make, you know what I'm saying, wherever you roam your home, you know what I'm saying? You could just decorate it with your swag. And, you know what I'm saying? You can just make wherever you are your home. You know what I'm talking about? Just put your artwork up. Put your artwork up. You know, you can just make wherever you are your home. You know what I'm saying? So, I got the uh, the skillet right there. I'm getting ready to, um, getting ready to, I'm on the second floor. I'm getting ready to make some hot tea right now. But I just thought that this would be very interesting for you to see too. Another thing that I'm finna start doing is that right here, all right, I'm about to take this picture right here, right? And I'm about to actually put words. I'm a I'm a I'm a staple or paste words on the uh, on the picture so that when I fill it up with water, right, that the water aligns himself with the words. So I'm about to let you go ahead and witness that right now. I'm going to let you witness that. Later on, I got some paint. I might get creative and paint some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? But for right now, where's that tape? And we can get down to business. All right, I got my tape. What is that kind of paper am I going to use? Probably go ahead and use that lead composition paper right there. Alright, so just gonna go ahead and take some regular notebook paper and then um, on this one I'm going to write oh, let me get this away from the uh, okay. that's my better on the first note I'm going to write uh, love um, I'm probably just going to write a note. Love. I am a light being. A being who is infinite in Both love and light. I love you, water. Please be kind to me. Please. Love me as well. So I wrote a quick little note to, and I'm going to sign it. Lord, Yukini, Osai, Anu, Ra. I'm probably going to sign it too with the Lord. And that's the first note. The second note is probably going to be joy. And I'm going to say, I am a light being I am infinite 
enjoy. You give me great joy in water. Please be nurturing to my minds, bodies, spirits, hearts, and souls. I enjoy your company and I enjoy your company and energy. So the second one I wrote is joy. Joy. I am light. I am a light being. I am infinite in joy. You give me great joy. Water, please be nurturing to my minds, body, spirits, hearts, and souls. I enjoy your company and energy. Then I'm going to do a quick prayer. Mother, Father, God, Please look upon your messenger, with love and grace, please do not Forget to be merciful with me. I am your servant and I desire. I am your servant and I desire. Mother, Father, God, please look upon your messenger with love and grace. Please do not forget to be merciful with me. I am your servant and I desire. For you to purify my water. I love you. And I need you. What's that? So I got like a little prayer there. And then I'm probably just going to write like a few little words. But first of all, I'm going to I'm gonna cut this off. And probably... Rip it like this. I have no scissors, but I can probably go like this. You know what I'm saying? You just got to make the best of what you got. That's the first note. See the first note? That's the first note right there. It's the second and third note right here. And as we're doing this, I see that the tea is going ahead and warming up. I see it smoking, so that's a good sign. I'm definitely in need of some hot tea. So, you know, that's a great sign. Definitely in need of some great tea. So, you see, that's the, the, the second, and that's the third note. I'm going to go ahead and take it over here. Take it with me right quick. I'm going to get it. Uh, uh. Look at this. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming up off of that. See the smoke coming up off of that, that pot? That's that hot tea. 
that's that hot tea right there. You see that? That's that hot tea right there. I'm gonna focus on this pitcher right here because I drink water out of this pitcher. So I am going to um take the prayer right here just go ahead and take the prayer because you know what this may seem like super corny but believe it or not the um the water is very intelligent water is like a living entity water is like super intelligent and water automatically aligns itself with the vibrations of our words. You know what I'm saying? It automatically aligns itself with the with the vibrations of our words. That's why when I pour water, I like super like speak to the water and say thank you water for um for you know um being my friend. I love you water. Please be alkaline, please be kind to me. You know what I'm saying? I definitely speak to my water. I just think it's very important, you know what I'm saying, for us to treat water as a living entity, especially if we want the water to be good to us, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it may seem corny to y'all, but I'm all about survival, you know what I'm saying? I'm all about survival, and I know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? I know what time it is. And I'm just, I'm not going out. I want everything. I want I want what's, what I'm entitled. You know what I'm saying? And if I can just do just a few things to make my water more alkaline and more enjoyable, then, you know, I'm going to do whatever I can to make it enjoyable within my means. You know, I know I'm really supposed to be drinking out of a glass a glass jar but for now you know until that time comes i'm just gonna deal with this the way it is and here's the love go ahead and put that right there and on the back side i'll just probably do like random like messages or words or whatever and you know that way i'll feel way more safer drinking the water if it's tapped, I feel safe for drinking the water if it's tapped to know that I made every effort to make it acrylic. You know what I'm saying? I made every effort. So with that being said, um, I'm probably gonna write quick notes. I am loving. I am honest. I am pure. I am acrolyne. Acrolyne water. I am alive. I am supercharged. I am nutritious. I am healthy. I am ultimate. I am ultimately divine. I am ultimate. 
approximately I am ultimately um, good for your systems. I am grateful. I am thankful. I am smiling. <laughs> All right, so those are my little words, quick words. You can cut them out. I put, I am loving, I am honest, I am pure. I'm acrylined water, I am alive, I am supercharged, I am nutritious, I am healthy, I am ultimately divine, I am ultimately good for your systems, I am grateful, I am thankful, I am smiling. Smiling, I just think, you know, smiling or laughter or whatever, that's like a happy word to put. So that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to run with that. Go ahead and... Second word. That's the third word. I just think that you know um, the water is very intelligent water is very intelligent people really underestimate water and the true intelligence of water um, however water is very very intelligent and um, water will be good to you if you be good to water you know what I'm saying and in fact the Japanese guy did a study on water and he recently like you know um, he took very contaminated swamp water and he took a sample from the water and he just placed it in the glass and the word said i love you i'm happy and all of that and then he watched he, you could see the video and you would see him you would see that the water changes from being completely contaminated to being completely pure and i just i thought that gave me an idea i watched it like a few months ago and um it just like really gave me an idea as to, you know what I'm saying, what I can be doing to make my stuff, my water more healthier, you know what I'm saying, because water is alive, it's a living entity, you know what I'm saying, and um, believe it or not, <sighs> believe it or not, the water actually wants to like, it wants to, um, it really wants to, pardon me, it wants to do good by us, you know what I'm saying? It also wants some kind of interaction. So basically, I'm programming the water and giving it some direction. I'm letting the water know exactly what I wanted to do in my system. I wanted to make me feel happy, to make me feel um energetic to make me feel you know 
to align itself with these thoughts. I am nutritious. I am ultimately good for your system. You know, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I'm smiling. I want it to be, you know, a lot in alignment with these words. And that's what, you know, this whole exercise is all about. It's all about taking charge. All right. It's all about being proactive. I'm not going to just pour some tap water and just think that you know what I'm saying? Everything is going to be all right. I'm going to go ahead and secure myself and make sure that everything is all right. And that's exactly what I'm doing with this water is I'm going ahead and secure and make sure that everything is all right. better to be safe and trust me now for those who want to watch my video I have a video on acrylining water and I talk about the wheatgrass sprouts if you put a little bit of wheatgrass sprouts in it in the water and you do like a little ritual like I usually do a ritual when I have the wheatgrass sprouts I would just like, you know, um, I would ask the, um, the herb to um, absorb the intoxicants. And then, you know, um, and I would thank the herb and I would ask the herb. I would ask the herb what I can do for the herb in exchange for the herb doing that for me and alkaline in the water. And then I would stir up the, the, uh, the water in the wheatgrass or whatever. And... Um, I would stir up the water in the wheatgrass or whatever, and um, and yeah, the water would come out completely acrylon, tested and everything. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was doing that for a while, while I was traveling, and in those times that it's inconvenient for me to do that, then you know I just go ahead and get some tap water and acrylon the water according to my thoughts. But I just think that this right here is even way more effective. This is being proactive right here. This is not waiting for, you know what I'm saying? This is not wishing on a star and waiting for something to happen. This is actually storming the grid of consciousness and, 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 and being directly involved, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, involved with, with my health. <coughs> and that's what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm evolving myself. I'm involved now. I'm proactively doing something about my health. I'm proactively doing something about my health. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. I'm proactively doing something about my health. And it's actually kind of fun. It's actually kind of fun doing this little exercise right here. I feel relieved. It's like, if I'm going to be drinking water, y'all, then I take my chances with it like this, then not like this. Trust me. So, yeah. You might want to start alkalining your water, yo. You might not be as extreme as I am, but if you just put a few healthy words on your water, 
I guarantee you will see some immediate results in this freshness. And you might want to even put like a lemon, like a little taste of lemon, a little taste of lemon in the water. You know what I'm saying? You'll find that a little taste of lemon in the water will be even good too. I am alive. Actually, gonna put that right there at the bottom. Put that at the bottom. So this is my scrapbook water pitcher. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can make a business out of this and make professional water jugs with just different acrylline thoughts. You know what I'm saying? I can call the company Acrylline Thoughts and make different, you know, uh, jugs, uh, uh, water pitchers out of glass. You know what I'm saying? I can even make water bottles to some bake called Acrylline Thoughts. That's just an Acrylline Thought for you right there. But yeah, you know, this is the outcome of my um of my picture. You know what I'm saying? Which is different random thoughts and scrapbooked, but I mean it's more authentic and it, and I love it like that. And it simply says at the top it says, I am ultimately good for your system. Ultimately. That's a that's a power word. Word of power. Then it says, Joy, I am a light being. I am infinite in joy. You give me great joy, water. Please be nurturing to my minds, bodies, spirits, hearts, and souls. I enjoy your company and energy. Love. I am a light being, a being who is infinite in both love and light. I love you, water. Please be kind to me. Please love me as well. Lord Yukili Osai, Anura, Lord Yukili Osai. Then I say, Mother, Father, God, please look upon your messenger with your love and grace Please do not forget to be merciful with me. I am your servant and I desire for you to purify my water. I love you and I need you. Hotel.
I am acrylite water. I am acrylite water. I am grateful. I am thankful. And I am smiling. I am alive. I am supercharged. I am nutritious. I am ultimately divine. I am loving. And then at the very bottom, I put, I am healthy. I am pure. You know what I'm saying? And that's my quick little uh, scrapbook water picture. You know what I'm saying? Scrapbook water pitcher. Right there. And since my water is done. Tea water right here. Smoking. Yep. So I'm Lord Yukilio Sai Nu Ron broadcasting to you on behalf of 13 Cosmic Law Astrology. And there you go.